and welcome back to more of a math party my math party people Anderson here your math coach so in this video following up from adding and subtracting decimals we're gonna be going ahead now and multiplying decimals so when it comes to multiplying decimals my party people very straightforward rule here very straightforward all you gotta make sure you do is bring those decimals back after you're done multiplying and you're good so let's take a look here let's go ahead and watch so let's go ahead and say we have 6.1 times 2.5 okay so really what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and line it up. You're gonna line it up. And really from this point forward, my party people, feel free to completely ignore the decimals. So again, step one, multiply it as if there were no decimals there to begin with. So let's go ahead and figure out what that's gonna be. So here we go. One times five, that'll be five. Six times five, that'll be 30. Then we'll go to the next line. And then we'll do one times two, that's gonna be two. 6 times 2, that'll be 12. So again, just go ahead, multiply as if those decimals aren't even there. It's that straightforward. And so from here, we'll get into it. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2, 5, and 1. Boom. All set. 1, 5, 2, 5. Now what we do at the end of this, my party people, is bring those decimals back. So over here, what you may notice is that we have one decimal, two decimal places. So we'll come back. 1, 2. The answer is 15.25 and you are done. That is literally it. And we're going to go through plenty of examples in this video right here where you can follow along, try it out yourself. And remember that if you're in the course up next, we've got worksheets. And after those worksheets, you've got speed drills. So get right to it. Put in that work so you can keep raising your score. So let's go ahead and take into it here. Number two. OK, we got 4.2 times 3.3. .3. Again, just multiply it as normal, but at the end, understand that you have one, two decimal places to bring back. That's it. That's really it, my math party people. It's just like regular multiplication, except you just bring the decimals back at the end. And that's for multiplying decimals. For dividing in the next video, you'll see there's a slightly different thing that you have to do to make sure that you're clear as day every single time. So let's get into it, my math party people. So two times three, that's gonna be six. Four times three, that's 12. Bring the zero down. Then up next, two times three is six. Four times three is 12. Add it together, six, eight, three, one. And then from there, we said two decimal places, one, two. So we have ourselves 13.86, and that is answer choice A. Just like that. It is that straightforward, my math party people. Let's do it again here. Let's take another one out here. We got 0 0.73 times 6.5. Here we go. So 0 0.73 times 6.5. And unlike addition, notice that you don't have to line up the place values. You don't have to care about any of that. Pretend the decimals aren't there. Multiply, then bring them back. Just that easy. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take care of business here. 3 times 5, that's going to be 15. Carry the 1. 7 times 5 is 35. Carry the 1 is 36. Next up, place the 0, and let's keep going. 3 times 6, that's going to be 18. Carry the 1. 7 times 6 is 42. Carry the 1 is 43. Add these back together, and we get 5. 14, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 3 is 7. And then the 4 right there. And then notice that we have 1, 2, 3 decimal places, one, two, three decimal places. 4.745 is the answer, and that is B. Right there, right there. And one thing you can definitely tell the math part of people is this. Notice that you have 6.5 times a number less than one. When you're multiplying by a number less than one, you're gonna get a smaller number than what you started with. So it's gonna be smaller than 6.5, boom, right there. No way it could be C. Yeah, I think that A is a little too low because 0.73 is about three quarters, 75, right? No way it could be that low. So you can get rid of C and A if you had to take a guess if you were desperate. But either way, my math party people, let's keep it going here. Let's take a look at more examples. So 4.38 times 6.8. Same deal here, 4.38 multiplied by 6.8. And again, multiply as if those decimals weren't there but bring them back at the end. We have how many to bring back? One, two, three to bring back. So just remember that you're bringing back three places, get started, have fun. 
Remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself, see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free. So go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. So eight times eight, that's gonna end up being 64. Three times eight is 24, carry the six is 30. Four times eight is 32, carry the three, 35. Next up, place that zero where it belongs and keep going. Eight times six is 48, carry the four. Three times six is 18, carry the four is 22. Four times six is 24, carry the two, 26. So just make sure, make doggone sure that you're multiplying the right way. And then from there, enjoy the math party. So here, four, eight, seven, nine, and two. And like we said, three decimal places, one, two, and three. So your final answer will be 29.784. And that is answer choice D, and you're all good. So again, I'm gonna repeat it, and I repeat it again and again and again. When you're multiplying decimals, just multiply the numbers, and then bring the number of, the total number of decimals, bring it back. That's it for multiplying decimals. Let's do one more, and let's call it a day. So, 6.2 times 2.4. So here we go, 6.2 multiplied by 2.4. Let's get started. Two times four is eight, six times four is 24. Up next, bring a zero down, 2 times 2 is 4, 6 times 2 is 12. So from there, we've got 8, 8, 4, and 1. And so we have boom, boom, 1, 2, 14.88, and you're done. Yes, it can be that straightforward. With practice, you'll get even faster than me. It just takes time, it takes practice, but you can absolutely get there, my math party people. And so, with that said, again, if you're in the course, at this point, you're going to look forward to working on those worksheets and getting into those speed drills. Those speed drills, my math party people, are everything you need to succeed because it's gonna help you practice for that confidence. And when you get timed, hey, not gonna matter because you have that calm, cool, and collectedness to just crush it at the end of the day. And so, with that said, I'm your math coach Anderson, and I'll see you in the next video. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.